In this figure we have a rectangle and we are given the areas of three right triangles. One of these right triangles has the area of 27 square units, the second one 15 square units and the third one 12 square units. We need to find the area of this blue triangle. There are multiple methods for solving this problem and here we will explore one of them. If we could find the area of the entire rectangle, then we would subtract the areas of these three triangles and we would get the area of the blue triangle. So then let this rectangle have one side A and another side B. Now let's take a look at the triangle whose area is 27 square units. One of the formulas for finding the area of a triangle is one half times base and times height. I will write this formula to the right. So to get the area of a triangle, we multiply one half by the base and by the height. In this triangle, we can say that the base is B and let this height be X. Then we can write that one half times B and times x equals 27. Now let's take a look at the triangle whose area is 15 square units. In this triangle we can say that the height is a and let's call the base y. Then we can write that one half times y and times a equals 15. Now what about the base and the height of this triangle? If this side of the rectangle is B and this part is Y, then this part will be B minus Y. And if this side of the rectangle is A and this part is X, then this part will be A minus X. Then we can write that one half multiplied by B minus Y and multiplied by A minus X equals 12. So, so far we have these equations that represent the areas of these triangles, but as you see, they have a lot of variables, so we will try to use substitution to eliminate some of these variables. First, we will solve this equation for x, and in the first step we will multiply both sides by 2. Then we will have bx equals 54. And now if we divide both sides by b, we will get that x equals 54 over b. Now the next equation will be solved for y and we will start by multiplying both sides by 2. Then we will get that y times a equals 30. Then if we divide both sides by a, y equals 30 over a. Now in the third equation we will replace y with 30 over a and x with 54 over b. Then we will have one half times b minus 30 over a times a minus 54 over b equals 12. Now as you see this equation has only two variables and these are a and b. Now let's simplify this equation and let's see if we can solve it. First we will multiply both sides by 2, then on the left side 2 and 2 will cancel, then we will remove the parentheses by using FOIL, so b times a is ab. Then b times negative 54 over b will be negative 54 because b and b will cancel. Then negative 30 over a times a is negative 30 because a and a will cancel. So we will write minus 30. Then negative 30 over a times negative 54 over b will be positive. 1620 over AB. So we will write plus 1620 over AB. Then on the right side we will have 24. Now we will subtract 24 on both sides and we will have AB minus 
54 minus 30 and then minus 24 plus 1620 over AB equals 0. Then if we combine these three numbers together, we will get negative 108. Then we will have AB minus 108 plus 1620 over AB equals 0. Now to get rid of this denominator, we will multiply both sides of this equation by AB. On the left side we will use the distributive property. Then AB times AB is AB squared. AB times negative 108 is minus 108AB. And AB times 1620 over AB will be 1620 because AB and AB will cancel. So we will have plus 1620 and on the right side we will have 0. Now let's recall that a quadratic equation has the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. In this equation the variable is x and a, b and c represent numbers. Now, do you see that the equation we got here is also a quadratic equation where the unknown is the product AB? If we can solve this equation, we can find the product AB. And the good part is that this product AB represents the area of the rectangle. To solve a quadratic equation, we can use factoring if it's possible or we can use the quadratic formula. For the equation to the left, the quadratic formula is x equals fraction negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. If we use this formula for our equation, then we will get the following. The unknown ab equals fraction bar and now, in place of negative b, we need the opposite of this number, which is positive 108. So, we will have 108 plus or minus square root of negative 108 squared minus 4 times 1 and times 1620. Then all this will be divided by 2 times 1. So again here, a represents the number that is in front of the variable squared, and that is 1, and c is 1620. If we simplify the radical, then we will get that ab equals 108 plus or minus 72 divided by 2. If we add 108 and 72 and we divide the result by 2, we will get 90. But if we subtract 72 and divide by 2, we will get that AB equals 18. Now, recall that the product AB represents the area of the rectangle and it cannot be smaller than the areas of these three triangles. Therefore, we will disregard the second answer and we will keep only the first one. And now, once we know the area of the rectangle, we will subtract the areas of these three triangles and we will get the area of the blue triangle. So then, the area of the blue triangle is 90 minus 27 minus 15 minus 12 and the result is 36 square units. So we found the area of the blue triangle and now the problem is completed. I hope you liked this problem and the solution. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.